I don't consent. Just kidding. Why did I can't hear you, Shreya? Hello. The foundation is cool. Right? Yeah, that's kind of groovy. I was like, hmm. There you go, nice. What is happening? You have to change clothes in there? No, I just like throw on a shirt. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I don't know what. what oh my mean? god, that's incredible. So wait, what are you doing? You, you have to get in too late. Put on the shirt and then run out and take it. YPT certified changing. Dissuades her from jumping up, but uh, I was trying to go get nails and she jumped up again. So. <laughs> oh, like Miss, Missy right there, she'll just come to you, uh -huh. and then KT's just too big to escape. I will choose so. Thank you. Uh, uh, You can't handle that. Here we go. That's too much, too much water yeah. for one man. It looks like he's a, he's a, he's going to slap the bag here. <laughs> yeah. The, here we go. <laughs> Bag slappers. Hey man, I've already. Yeah! Woo! Oh, look at this floor! There you go, give me some. Perfect. Uh. No. <laughs> they need your bags. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, that is a very 
very soccer move. The little tip there. That's all I gotta do. That's how you do it. You can do that with, of course, Heath and Hunt. Hey! You can wave. Hello, everyone. Hello. That's good. That's, that's the video. Oh. Pieces. We move it. Done. Oh, and move a piece. Yeah, I don't think you'll have our first night camp on here. It's a uh, Chase Canyon camp. Like Let's start up here. Just move it to wherever we should be. Oh, so you have your card ready? Yeah. One sec. Fifteen seconds. Right. Right. Don't have it. Oh, we were talking to him. Calling him Captain Maxwell. And the chocolates are all right here. So lose your kids. Go ahead and grab some. Oh. Oh. oh, all right. Three, two. Oh. Go to turn these to your deck, not your hand. Turn them to your deck, not your hand. The second, or the third, yellow and green are in conflict. It's not us. What color are you guys? I have a light green. Light green. No, we're in Miranda. Wait, how did blue get to Miranda? I moved green to Miranda. Did I accidentally move blue? Yeah, you did. We're in Baldy Town. Sorry. Baldy Town. Baldy Town. Where's Baldy Town? Okay, yeah. so we're clear. So, so we're all clear? We got balls out. Sick! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Alright, Ellie. Oh. I'll go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Okay, you know, Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Six mile, that's not bad. And then we'll do a little twin. We got Cameron, Wallace, Hello. Jake. Let's go! He won. You can, He's the winner. He's the one in charge. I did. He won the won the sparkle. <laughs> not the sparkle. The double pride, baby. <laughs> he took a quarter cup from the scouts. No, he didn't take it from the scouts. He deserved it. He won it. Won this baby fair and square. <laughs> Thank you, bro.
I mean, it doesn't really help much on the small hammer when I'm doing light strokes, but when I have the big hammer and I'm doing big stuff, you know, you're whacking, if you put the hammer down, it... My hand, the Lord Almighty come, what came out of the West in 49, a debtor, still a debtor at his best. Oh, to be a rich man, oh, to be a rich man. What? Did you just film me? Yeah, look. Well, I'm, I'm gonna come over here. Is that okay? Vlogging? Yeah, you can film her. Get a close look at the watermelon. Watermelon! Water 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 Wait, what are we doing right now? I'm yeah, standing right here. We. It can touch the ground. Are going to. Just stab it. Alright. First, we, jack we have to get the hat first. No, so. no, no. Don't go right there. No, no, no. Okay, you need to get off. the hat from no. the other side. Why? The yarmulke because it's smoother. Look, it's all green. Okay, well then. Wait, wait. Outline right it first. There. Outline it first. How are we doing with this? It's our nice dining fly. It's very well engine engineered because there's a slope to it. Oh yeah, no puddles. No puddles or anything. Come get some watermelon. If you want watermelon, come over here. Let's go guys, we're through. Right there. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit curious, I see this. You, you, you want to see with the light on? Oh, Melanie! Oh. Alright, Melanie, the melon. Carved like a jack o' lantern. Oh. Oh. I knew that they were going to get dysentery. 
Oh. And I can think with myself once. I want to go back to Belmont. I want to go back. Oh. <laughs> Holy way. Let's go, baby. Hooray! 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 You can get things out of it now. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's very impressive. Huh? No one has real cameras that. anymore. Yeah, well, we're using the show. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for attending. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, thanks for seeing. Also, if you notice, each room alternates the side and then the fireplace is on and that distributes it evenly. This fireplace also has little ledges of adobe built out of the walls. In this hall, it's all boring. Thinking we're had rather be. Maybe chasing senoritas down in New Mexico. Standing at the edge of the sea. If I had the money, Got it. Shoot him again. I'm telling you, honey. Be oh, home oh, that oh, first oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. As long <laughs> as we're here, the answer is clear. Oh, we right in the New Mexico rain. New Mexico rain. Well, it's hot down in Texas. Rain. Well, I call this my home. If I ain't happy here, well, I ain't happy nowhere. Mexico rain when my mind starts to roam. Hey, other excuse of time Who's that? I was just 
sit in my flex light and somebody else should sit in my desk chair. Yeah. Perfect. No, I actually have a lot of chairs. Because I have a... <laughs> It's like mine are falling apart at the toe here. So are you the honorary chef out here? I need to get a... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 it's pretty much just me. Because yeah, yeah. I'll be the kind of thing where I'll cook for myself in the morning and then I'll be like... Next case. James, I feel like this picture is either going to turn out really aesthetic or just like... At least it's warm. If you whip out the pound cake Pictures of dudes eating cookies. Dude, I mean like we do have dudes eating cookies. I mean like... That's a video, oh my god. Like dudes eating cookies, right here. We got another dude eating cookies. <laughs> I took a break for my beans, but now I eat a cookie, now more beans. <laughs> Have you ever Yeah, that's your fault. I know, but I was like, I'm gonna hike you. James? Alright, let's get, let's make like a banana and split. Alright, Mexico, We're the highest men in this state. to be able to just like, it was actually comfortable this morning. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Derek, you're good. That's incredible. Oh, oh. <laughs> sick. The sick nasty. Trying to air dry it a bit. Let's see. I'll, I'll record our site right here. This is. This is currently where I'm at in the Valle. Up on top of the rock wall. But looks pretty, pretty shwacky. There's a lot of trees. But I'm going that way. So I should be working through there. This has to be the most beautiful reward for a day of shwacking. Just this wide open meadow up in the Carson National Forest. I mean, yeah, everybody gets some meat with it. Hey. So I'll take a hiking pole, so I'll take a knife, so I'll take a freaking algae on a rope. <laughs> <laughs> what stat buff is wearing Frank? Is it charisma or is it like huh? agility?
that I need an orange mug. And, and then uh, you get to the top of that, and then it isn't the peak. And you see, like, What mountain is that right there? Where? The one over there with the snow on it. mess up, cause a problem, help me to do better tomorrow. This world, this natural world, it will take care of you. But you must take care of it, Bob. Oh, the natural world will take care of you, all right? <laughs>
Ranch is my family's summer home for almost 15 years. Eventually, though, we decided to move on. So, I went looking for someone to take care of the place after I left it. And you scouts were perfect. Now, you have my trust, but can I trust you to trust yourself? Yeah, you can! As I sit here, overlooking the end of Tooth Ridge, seeing a crew walk their way towards base, I think what this crew is feeling. The satisfaction of completing a whole trek, and the exhilaration and badassery to hike back into base. I want these kids to feel like they finally did something with their lives, something their advisors would be proud of completing. I want this crew to tell stories of their dramatic return and how they want to come back to Philmont. I want every crew to feel these things while they are here. I've seen how much of an impact a trek could have on a scout by talking to my fellow rangers. To see them try to recapture the magic that drew them to the position when they themselves were the participants has to be the most rewarding thing to watch. To see their ranger magic at work is to witness art. Rangers have the power to change lives in ways they will never, ever see. I will never see this crew that is hiking into base, but I hope them well.
Okay. Hello. Uh, what is your name? My name is Colleen McKellick. <laughs> and where are you from, Colleen? I am from Golden, Colorado. All right. And what is the biggest lesson you've learned this season? Not to get attacked by hummingbirds. That's just kidding. Um, I'd say a biggest lesson is uh, just appreciate every single moment you have and um, take every moment of your life, whether it be your summer at Philmont or anything else, to improve yourself as a person and improve how you interact with others and experience the world. Awesome. That's a great answer. Uh, any other closing comments? Um, Philmont's a beautiful place. I'm sure that's what this documentary is about, but uh, anytime you see the hummingbirds, just take a second and enjoy their company because they're really sweet little creatures. <laughs>your name? Uh, my name is Wallace. Awesome. Wallace, where are you from? From Las Cruces, New Mexico, so down south. Awesome. Wallace, what was the biggest lesson you learned this season? Biggest lesson I learned was to really be yourself and have fun doing it because you don't need just an automated response for everything. You just be yourself and oh, people we'll will love that pose. and respect it. <laughs> what? Pose. Pose. Hi, my name is Owen Dasher, and uh, one thing I learned this summer is what it really means to impact someone's life for the better, to really be able to see like the tangible change you can uh, have in someone's life over a short period of time. Hi, I'm Matt McCrory. <laughs> I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> Sick. All right, Matt, what was the biggest lesson you learned this season? Um, I learned to let people in, whether that be uh, crew members or crew leaders that I had on trail. and. Uh, you know, have them be more of a part of my life than I was expecting. I did the same with the staff, especially getting to be close with the Rangers on Rayada from the first session. Uh, it was very unexpected to grow those bonds. That's a big thing I've been trying to work on this past year. And so I'm really grateful to say I've made some great relationships. So that's, that's probably the biggest thing. <laughs> Austin Smith, I'm from Southern Indiana, and uh, the biggest lesson I learned was that people are better than trees, and um, love is what makes the world go around. That's how you make an impact, is just by loving people one person at a time, one minute at a time.
I'm Eric. I'm from Colorado Springs. I learn this every time that I come to Philmont, but every time that I learn it, it's a new experience. And, and this summer, I learned that I could do things that I never thought I could do, things way harder than I ever thought I was uh, capable of doing. And I, I love getting that experience every summer because every summer it's the same, but every summer it's different. Sometimes you have to embrace change. You know, I came out here, I expected things to be largely the way they were I was uh, when I was here the, the last time in 2013. And there was a lot of things different. Uh, initially, I struggled with some frustrations I had with some changes that were made. But sometimes you have to take a step back and realize that you still have it really good, you still have a great opportunity, and that sometimes you have to accept the way things are and make the best of your opportunities that you have out here. As I've been going, my gear's gotten heavier. So I've realized that you, know, you don't actually need to always have the latest gear. Like right now, I have a unicorn. Walmart chair strapped to my pack, and I actually have my Melly with me. Nice! Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thank you. What's the difference? You should change this to the parts, please. Thank you. Three bucks. Thank you. Hey, no worries. There you go. I got the orange. I got orange blossom with the Mr. Dasher, sir. How you doing? James, how's it going? Oh, okay, this is it, this is it, right here. Oh!
My name is Franklin Russell. I'm from Finley, Ohio. Uh, the one thing I learned this summer is the importance of being of uh, scrambling and being flexible and expecting unexpected. Kind of the mantra of the Rialto uh, Trek and the Ranger Department, but I didn't really understand it until being Rialto Trek coordinator. Um, yeah. Our marks in the season, you know, it was kind of weird coming here. I was one of the few returning RTs. We had a whole bunch of untrained Rangers and a whole bunch of RTs in their first time in that role. And I was like, how in the world are we going to adapt and overcome and have an effective summer? But people stepped into their roles and we figured it out. And we managed to put on a great show. And I look forward to next year and seeing people come back and being able to uh, you know, take the skills I learned this year and polish them, make them more, make them better for the next year's participants. My, my wrists like, jiggle. I'm proposing they just stop taking breaks. Like the last like six six days, they just didn't take breaks. They would they would do their morning hike. Do you want me to say my name? Yes. <laughs> I'm Mal Swain. I am from all over North Carolina. Um, and this summer, I got to work with Franklin Russell as one of the Rialto Trek coordinators. The summer being summer 2021. And one of the biggest lessons I learned this summer was just a reaffirmation of a quote from my grandmother who a few years ago told me that you are the product of the decisions you make. Um, this summer has proven challenging in many regards for myself and my partner, both personally and professionally, um, through Riado and otherwise. And I've had to take a lot of time to get back in touch with myself and re gauge what my priorities are in life and where I am and how where I am right now aligns or misaligns with where I want to be in the future and what kind of product I want to be down the line. Nice. I want, I want a biscotti and coffee at all the people. from Oceanside, California, just north of San Diego. And the biggest thing that I learned this summer is to uh, take advantage of every single little interaction that you have, because uh, even the smallest moments have the ability to change someone else's life, your life, or both at the same time. So even if it's somebody that you're never gonna see in your life ever again, use that opportunity to uh, help yourself grow and maybe make an impact on uh, somebody else. So this is super important, especially here at Philmont, because you know a lot of these friends that I've made, I will never, ever, ever see again, which is very sad, but I can still use the lessons that they gave me, uh, including this one. And hopefully that they, they gained a little bit from my friendship too, that they can take out into the real world.
All right, all right. Wave to the cam. Wave, wave to the camera, everyone. Hello. Awesome. So great. The Clark's Fork people. Awesome. Look at this great breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Eat that biscuit. I want to see up on your face. Really? Ever? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Okay, that's corn. That's Caroline. Oh, I you now. Yeah, yeah. You, you and the oh, there's John. And, and oh, Tim. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I am from Raleigh, North Carolina. I just graduated last May from Appalachian State University, Roll Nears. Um, the biggest lesson I learned this summer is a lesson I'm kind of retaught and reassured every time I come to Philmont or something like this. The timing of this summer, especially, uh, really just was was kind of a crash course, a re, re lesson in, in this, and it's uh, it's that you, you got to break out of your comfort zone. Uh, I feel like, especially, I think everybody can relate to the last year falling into some unhealthy habits um, with everything that was going on, and just coming out here was a big adjustment for me. Um, even though I had been here before, just going from where I was to where I am now. Uh, it, was, it was pretty uncomfortable. Uh, There's a lot of had to rework like how you socialize, uh, the the grind of waking up early, the grind of like destroying your body every day, uh, the grind of working with youth, um, and it, it was it was a really uncomfortable transition. But once you make the transition, once you kind of suffer through the hard parts, and be, it becomes the normal, it's so worth it and it's so rewarding. And it's just uh, I guess the the real lesson is all all the best rewards take uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of just. Uh, just uncomfortable feelings along the way. Um, and it's, it's hard to start those things, you know, because they are. it is hard and it is uh, uncomfortable. But uh, like I said, the, the best rewards always come from stuff like that. Mm -hmm. My name's Cole Baker. I'm from Mountain City, Tennessee, and I like ribs. Cole, what's the biggest lesson you learned this summer? If you want to run with the big dogs, you got to learn to piss in the tall grass. <laughs> yes, sir. Cole Baker, any uh, last comments about the season? Cole's and comments, that's the way I want to put them. Look back at it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dylan Gaynor. I'm from Hagerstown, Maryland. Um, stop. <laughs> the most impressive thing that... <laughs> the most impressive thing that I've learned from this summer and of all summers, uh, it has to do with a quote that I learned a long time ago. Uh, it's from Renee Damal, and she says, What is above knows what is below, but what is below knows not what is above. One climbs, one sees, one descends, one sees no longer, but one is seen. I've thought about that for a long time, and I've thought about how it impacts my life, and what I've really gathered is how I can make each and every Philmont year, each and every trek, each and every crew mean something to me and how I can get lessons out of it. And I sure have done that every single year here at Philmont. So the big takeaway from all of my seasons here, what I have, the conglomerate of what I have learned is what am I going to do with it now? Ready?
Go for it. That's money. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Yes. First try! <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, audience participation. <laughs> My photo was taken in front of the main sign, and then I loaded all of my stuff into the bus to Albuquerque. Tentmate Zach caught the bus with me last minute, and we started the drive out. All right, thank you, Weston. You're not gonna get me in the shot? All right, Weston. Hi, a little brief word from fellow Scout Ranch. We got to the point where we could look over our left shoulder towards Arrowhead Rock and told the scouts sitting around us that you're destined to return if you look back at it. The rock then went out of sight and my fate was sealed.